We're now going to have a look at how to actually use basic motion detection using GlovePy. Ooh, getting interesting now. So we, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to note basic gestures that somebody might use in commands and so on and so forth. Now something I'm just going to explain first. I'm going to go about doing this tutorial slightly differently. I'm going to do this on the fly. I.e. I've not rehearsed it, I'm just going to go straight through it. Uh, it comes across a bit more natural and some people prefer it, but if not, or if you do, if you just leave a comment under this um, chapter, um, sorry, under this tutorial, and let me know if you prefer me to actually rehearse them before I do them, or if you would prefer me to do them on the fly as I'm going to do this one. Um, and just give me your feedback, because I'm really doing them for you anyway. So, let, firstly, let's find out which Wii Remote I've got connected. I never end up getting the first Wii Remote connected first time, but you never know, there could be a first. So Wii Remote 1 dot LED 1 equals true. Come on, light up. Well, hey, it lit up. I've got the first Wii Remote connected. That's good. Now, in the earlier tutorials, we covered about which Wii Remote was connected, and you'll understand what I mean if you've listened to that one. But as I said, motion detection. Now there's two values we can use. We can well actually there's a few different values when it comes to acceleration. We can use raw acceleration or we can use a relative acceleration. That's the two we're gonna look at. I'm gonna just use the debug tool to output the acceleration values. And we can go I'm gonna output the raw acceleration first. Now you'll see that one is measured at 9.5 and the way it starts is this first value here is x, the second value is y, this third value is z. Now nine, the value of gravity, uh, if you don't know, is 9.81. Um, so these sensors are measuring the acceleration val value of gravity, and as you can see it's not perfect. Uh, I've got the Wii Remote currently down, so that means the middle axis, axis is the y axis. If I hold it upwards with the infrared pointer pointing at the ceiling, you can see this last value, which is the Z axis, has gone to 9.8. And if I lay the Wii Remote on its side, you can see that this value here, the X1, has gone to 9.8 or so on and so forth. So that's our three axes. But we don't want gravity in the equation. Now we could use could actually use some equations to work out the effect of gravity using trigonometry to reduce its effect and get rid of it, but we don't need to, because GlovePy has kindly done that for us in dot, not raw, but relative acceleration. And you see we've got relative acceleration, relative acceleration x, y, and z. I'm just going to output all three by using relative accel. And here you can see no matter where I, which direction I hold the Wii remote, its value is set to non okay there's a little bit of a value because the sensors aren't perfect but it's generally quite cool and I've not calibrated this Wii remote very well either now gesture recognition we're going to cover basically just move standard movements on the X Y and the Z axes now we've actually got rid of gravity out of the equation because we're using relative acceleration it's quite simple and we're going to go straight and do this I'm going to go the, uh, the keyboard dot a equals Wii mote one dot relative acceleration y greater than ten. So when the accelerational value of the y y axis is greater than ten, then the Wii remote the keyboard dot a button will be pressed. And I'm going to run this code. Open my debug form, which you can access through the troubleshooter and remote test just there. I'm going to delete the text and I'm going to chuck the Wii remote in the air and as you can see it presses the A button. Now that's going up. Now if I was to go down, oh it did it as well. The reason is you accelerate down so you get a negative value. When however you actually stop accelerating, i.e. stop, you get a positive value. And it's normally, you normally stop faster than you accelerated, so you get a positive acceleration, which is greater than what we're actually wanting to capture. So what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to stop, the, just actually be able to s s detect which direction we accelerated it. And that's what we're going to have a look at. We use some Boolean variables to do this, and I'm going to actually go into that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop this from running. 
and we're going to check two variables. Now, whenever you create a variable, it's set to nothing. So what we do is we go if var give it let's give it a name. Um, let's say up dire. And I'm going to go if not var up dire. Then if so I'm going to go var dot up dire equals Wiimote one dot relative acceleration y is greater than 10. Now if this works I'll be amazed. Well hey I'm gonna go into variables. There we go. I threw the Wii remote up and it went from false to true. That is great. So we ha what we're doing is we're saying if not, so basically, if updire is set to false, which it will be when it's initialized, then check this statement. If the acceleration velocity on the y-axis is greater than 10, then that is setting updire to true. Now what we're going to do is we want to do one for down as well. So if not var dot down down dire, then var dot down dire is going to equal remote one dot relative acceleration along the y-axis less than minus 10. And then we'll check that one. And we can run. And you see we have two variables are both set to false. They both went to true, even though I only moved in one direction. So what we want to now do is we only want to apply one of these other statements if the other um, Boolean variable is actually not true. And if you did not understand that, don't worry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, if it's not so on that one, and then we're going to use the and, which is the double statement there, and not var dot down dire. So basically, only if both the down and the up dire are false can it actually run this procedure. I'm going to do the same with the second one. And not var dot down up dire. And you will actually find that after running this script, it should only catch one direction. Oops, something's been set to true. Rerun it. Oops, and again. Let's just check this out. Um, and not up there, down there. Ah, right. Less than minus 10. For some reason, which I cannot work out. Oh, there we go. I must have just been moving the sensor slightly. So we have both our variables. Go away. There we go. Both our variables set to false. I will accelerate up. And if you noticed, it captured the up value. And now if I move the Wii remote, aha, nothing's happening. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to rerun it, and now I'm going to accelerate downward, and you see it captured the down direction, and it captured that one first, and it's ignoring any other, any other movement I put in now. 